This is 7 National News and in our top story, the UK government will reach a decision on visa-free travel for Emiratis in the next few months, according to officials. The UK ambassador Dominic Germy was quoted in a local daily as saying that the issue will be discussed when the UAE president, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, makes his state visit to the UK next week on April the 30th. But it will not be fully resolved during his visit. This comes after the British Prime Minister David Cameron spoke of the UK's commitment to opening diplomatic doors in both directions when he visited the UAE last November. He stated that Emirati investment into the UK is vital across a range of sectors, including real estate, banking, sport and infrastructure. He added that they are doing all they can to make the UK an attractive and accessible investment destination, reducing corporation tax to among the lowest in the G20, generous new tax breaks for early stage investment and entrepreneur visas. Abu Dhabi's grade six state school pupils will be taught English, Arabic, maths and science as core subjects. And developing critical thinking skills will be a key aim as the Education Council rolls out its new school model. Dr. Magir al Kaili, the Director General of the Abu Dhabi Education Council, was quoted as saying that in line with the Emirates 2030 vision, They also need to concentrate and popularise studies in science that will help serve the economy. Additionally, science and maths will be taught in English. The new school model for grade six pupils will be rolled out from September this year. All traffic patrols in Dubai have been given strict instructions to toughen up on offenders, according to officials. Major General Mohammed Saif al-Zafin, the head of the traffic department, was quoted as saying that patrols must immediately impound speeding cars and refer them to police on a criminal charge of endangering their lives and the lives of others. Additionally, the department is stepping up its patrols by 30% and increasing their use of radar speed guns as a part of the traffic safety campaign this week. This comes off the back of first quarter results this year that saw 48 traffic deaths in the Emirates, a rise of 77% from the year before. New rules for jet skis are being rolled out today by the Dubai Maritime City Authority to help save the lives of both swimmers and jet skiers. The regulations imposed will see 300-metre buffer zones around three Dubai beaches at Dubai Marina, Um Sikkim 1 and 2, and Jumeirah 2 and 3 to keep jet skis out of swimming areas. This, according to officials, will not only protect swimmers, but also give skiers a better sense of security. Additionally, jet ski rest areas have also been set up at the three areas marked with yellow buoys. The authority has also confirmed that jet skiers are not allowed to ride before sunrise and after sunset due to low visibility. A free medical camp will be held at the King Faisal Mosque premises in Sharjah on the 29th of April. The medical camp is a joint setup between the Department of Islamic Affairs and Orcaf Sharjah, the Kerala Muslim Cultural Centre, the Ministry of Health and the Asta Medical Group. Some of the services will include blood pressure, sugar, BMI and a smoking analyzer with free consultations. The initiative is a part of the public welfare program by the Department of Islamic Affairs and Orkaf Sharjah and is open to all nationalities. The campaign is being carried out through the Dr. Asta Mobile Clinic, which has previously been in Dubai and the Northern Emirates, in order to spread awareness on preventative health care. And finally, looking to other news now, when it comes to tackling environmental issues, education and innovation should work hand in hand, according to the experts. They say engaging the community, particularly students, is important in the drive for a sustainable future. Now in its third year, the Panasonic Kids School continues to attract a growing number of students from across the region to take part in the programme. 135 countries annually join the initiative, while interest is increasing in the MENA and the GCC region. 
Company officials say raising awareness and educating the youth is critical. 14-year-old Emirati Maya Mohammed is the regional winner of this year's Eco Diaries. Her five-day diary entry covered a diverse range of environment issues where her illustrations reflected clearly the ideas that will help in tackling environmental concerns and ultimately help save the planet. First of all, when the... The competition was uh, given to me. I took some time to look around uh, for the uh, environment issue. Then I uh, tried to sit with myself and think about the, the subject or the title that uh, interests me. Then I draw it with my own style, the animation style, and that make me happy and sending a very nice message to the new generation. We do want to reduce the CO2 emission uh, as much as possible to zero, uh, in addition to like uh, uh, producing eco friendly products like uh, eco friendly uh, fridges, uh, washing machines, consumer electronics, etc. Et so, I, I think to start with, we have to start with the uh, kids or the, the, this next generation because they are the future, basically. We have to increase the awareness among them. As a part of the program, several workshops are conducted to raise the students' level of awareness. Among these is the assembly of hybrid toy cars powered by solar. Participants range from 6 to 14-year-olds from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Lebanon, the UAE and Africa. Each one of them said the platform allows them to engage fellow students as well as allow their voices to be heard in the fight for a better world. I joined uh, the diary competition because uh, because in my country I, c I can see a lot of pollution that is uh, polluting our environment and our environment uh, really is uh, is uh, it is awareness time because uh, there is a lot of pollution that is hurting hurting our environment. I talked about on ways of conserving the environment like uh, organizing groups of co of like collecting garbage and also recycling